And you know, I've always been an advocate of this, and when there, when uh, the country music performers pass away, their wives are kind of put in the background, and they're the ones that supported them and loved them and kept them on the road and shared their husbands with you. And I think it's time that we gave the wives some some love and let them know how much we appreciated them sharing their husbands with you and supporting them. So I'm going to bring out an unbelievable lineup of wonderful ladies that have shared their husbands with y'all for so many years. Ladies, would y'all come out? Y'all might know who some of these are, and you might not know who some of these are, but we're going to, uh, going to highlight each and every one of them. And uh, first, you step up here first. Yeah. Miss Leona Williams. Let me tell you something. She did a double shot on this deal. Merle Haggard, married to Merle Haggard, and then married to Dave Kirby, great songwriter that wrote Anybody Going to San Antonio and many others. And uh, shared her husbands with you. I'm sure many trying moments <laughs> came up through those years. And uh, we, uh, we love her so much. And uh, I just want you to say a few words. I just want to say hi to everybody. And Joe, thanks for having us down here and putting us all together. I love Texas. People ask me all the time, are you from Texas? You're always singing about stuff. And Connie Smith, one of the best lady singers in country music, had a top ten record of a song I wrote called Dallas. So I have a lot of Texas in me. I, maybe I should write that one. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm like Minnie Pearl. I'm very happy. So, thank you. Leona Williams. Isn't she great? Thank you, Leona. Go in line here. I've had so many mentors in my life, and this lady's husband was truly one of my dearest friends and one of my mentors. And he actually took, when I was 15 and 16 years old, he took me on the road with him many times. I'll never forget when I was 16, I got to sit on a truck bed in Sherman, Texas with Ernest Tubb. I got to sit on the tailgate for 20 minutes, just me and Ernest, and we talked. And I'll never, ever forget it. Charlie Walker, Margot Smith, it goes on and on and on and I could have never met those people without him. And I burned up his phone line constantly, asking him questions, and she knows I did. And uh, I, I, I still have his phone number, even though he's been gone many years, I still have his phone number in my cell because I just can't bring myself to take it out. But I'm speaking of the great Joe Paul Nichols. And, and he, would, he would be on this stage right now, I tell you, he was my mentor. And Carolyn has been such a good friend. And Carolyn, uh, I know you supported him so much. We all miss him. I don't talk on microphones, but <laughs> anyway, Joe Paul, actually, he's been gone 10 years, but I think he played 20 shows for Joe. Uh, and you've got a fantastic crowd. And the only other thing I can say is all five of these guys were great musicians, and they all, each had their own style. And uh, I'm so thankful that they left great, classic country music for Joe to play for us every Sunday night. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. Well, she's such a wonderful friend. Such a wonderful friend. Now this lady, I'm telling you, you've heard me on my show. And I want to keep you in suspense because I don't want to tell you right off the bat. But uh, I have said in many of my shows that her husband was probably one of my favorite country artists of all time. And the quote I would make about him is that he sang with a teardrop in his voice. 
And when I say this song, you're going to say, oh, hell, that's who it is. It's such a pretty world today. Oh, and so many other great songs. Playboy and so many great songs. And we're so glad to have her here. I'm, of course, speaking of Wynn Stewart. And this is Dolores Stewart. was taken away from us way, way too young. I'm sure most of you will agree to that. But he was with us long enough to give us two beautiful daughters, Tasha Wynette and Ren D. Ren is here with me. And the thing that makes me so proud, he passed away in 1985. But do you know, to this very day, of course, Ren has his website on, she still gets requests to sell his albums, his box sets, to this day. It's amazing. And another thing that's so amazing is I know all of you have realized that country music has kind of not been really country anymore. But there's young guys, I mean young guys that contact her through his website that love his music. And they were, you know, he was passed away way before they were even born. So just thank you all for remembering him. He was a wonderful, wonderful man. Thank you. The Laura Stewart. Thank you, Mr. Henry. Okay, a little more suspense. You might know this lady. <laughs> We're very good friends. And uh, her husband wrote so many great songs, performed so many great songs. And speaking of George Strait, recorded many of his songs and many, many others. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of country music trivia that all of you are going to say, you're kidding. Back in the early 70s, when Billy Bob's first opened up, her husband was one of the hottest bands around anywhere. And anyway, we uh, want to inform you that Billy Bob called her husband in and said, we want to name the club after you and we want you to be the house band. And if you'll be the house band, we're going to give you 10% of Billy Bob's. And he agreed to, to be the house band and did get 10%. But they wanted to name the club after him. It wasn't going to be Billy Bob's. It was going to be Jerry Max's. And uh, I'll go ahead and tell this. He said, you're not going to use my name without paying me. And he said, well, I, listen, you're not, we're not going to pay you. That's an honor to be named after you. We shouldn't pay you. He said, well, you're not going to use my name without paying me. He said, hell, just name it Billy Bob's then. And they did. <laughs> But he was given 10% of Billy Bob's to be the house band. We're, of course, speaking of Jerry Max Lane, and this is Jeannie Max Lane. I love you, Joe. Thank you. That is true. And, but you have to remember, those that knew Jerry Max, that was in his drinking days. Because he wouldn't have turned that down if he was sober. <laughs> I don't think. But... We lost Jerry seven years ago, and um, I had 30 great years with him. Uh, Y'all had a lot more than that with him than I did. He belonged to you before he did me, and uh, he loved Fort Worth, and you made him what he was in Fort Worth, and I appreciate it. And people like Joe Belinsky, that and the, the DJs that play his music and that keep him alive, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Joe. Jeannie Max Lane, one of my very dear friends. This lovely lady and I have been friends for a long, long time. And we even dance. We're pretty hot on the dance floor, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that again. But anyway, uh, her husband, my goodness, I, I don't know how you get any bigger than he was. He, he was the uh, superstar of his time. He's a member of the Hall of Fame. And he had many, many firsts in the business where he was the first one to uh, go on stage with amplified instruments, right? Yes. And also, uh, with a, he carried, he was an ele electrical, ge electronic genius. And he had a sound system that he would carry with him. It was quite cumbersome back then because they didn't have solid state. It was a lot of trouble to carry it. But he insisted on having it because it made everything so clear and the voice so clear. And if you remember, her husband, every word he said, 
was so clear, even in his records, he, he demanded it. And uh, I had many great moments with him and did many great shows with him. And uh, I, I can't say enough good about this Hall of Famer. I'm, of course, speaking of the great Hank Thompson. Yeah. Let's have a hand for Ann Thompson. serious about you. And Porter Wagner wrote a song for him and it became uh, one of the biggest country songs in the business. And that song was almost persuaded. That was a big one. And we're so glad to have her here and I'm speaking of David Houston and this is his wife Linda Houston. Linda Houston and Thompson, Dean Max Lane, Dolores Spirit, Carolyn Nichols, and Leona Williams. Let's have a hand. They shared their husbands with us all those years. God bless them. 